Man, burr. <laughs> Fuck. So this is the other part is in the wintertime, uh, December, January, February, we have these crystal clear nights. This is when I like to do my laser flashes out of my bedroom because it's still warm up there, but because my bedroom's upstairs. Ah, oh, fuck. And, but it's so cold, you can only leave the window open for like a minute or two. That it was literally, I don't know, 40 degrees in here this morning in my room. My iPad was freezing cold when I touched it. Whew. Okay, so. Uh, I talked about billionaire's disease and what it does to you. It's like a fucking herpes infection. You can't get rid of it. And stress seems to set it off. So you see what's happened to Elon? That's exactly what that is. He's just gone. He understands that if he doesn't make Twitter look real again, okay? If he doesn't make it functioning and useful and accepted by people again, he won't just lose $44 billion. People will see him for who he really is. A South African fucking, you know, millionaire who came to the United States and simply took advantage of what was here. And that's why he's still a white supremacist. Talks like it, walks like it. If it talks like a duck and walks like a duck. He is smart enough to understand not to be blatant and outright, but it does slip out in some of the things that he says and the people that he backs. He's never built a fucking rocket motor. He didn't build Tesla. I get so fucking hearing, oh God. I literally, I literally got not a discussion. It was, wasn't an argument, but it was more than a discussion that Elon Musk created Tesla. And I'd explained to this guy, no, Elon Musk did not create Tesla any more than Bill Gates created Microsoft. They, Bill Gates bought that fucking software from a guy in Palo Alto. He paid $50,000 for it, which was a lot of money at that time. I was playing DOS computer games then. And he bought that system. He bought it. Okay? Elon Musk bought Tesla. He came in and became a major owner of Tesla. He poured... He was good at taking risk because, again, I think that's all he cared about was success. Kind of the exact opposite of who I am. All he cared about was success and money. And so he was willing to do whatever it took or fail. Give him, I will give him credit for that. I will also give him credit for bringing electric cars to the forefront because without him risking all of his money, which he did, he even mortgaged his fucking house, okay? Maybe electric cars would still be struggling right now. I have to admit it. It is the truth, and the truth is the truth, and you must, you know, live by it or, or, or live a lie. But he's got this billionaire's disease now, and it's really starting to show because he's out of his depth. This isn't about hiring the proper people. It's, this is not about hiring the right people to do your engineering and you know your your logistics your supply chains and all of this he's an idea man who tells people this is what i want and then he hires people to do it who are smart enough to get the job done i can tell you right now anyone with a, 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 a mediocre intelligence 
who has hundreds of millions of dollars could do the same fucking thing. You don't, you're not special. You're not smarter than everyone else. You're not some fucking genius, okay? You're simply willing to risk what you have to get more. That doesn't make you a fucking brilliant, uh, gee, let him create the society we live in because we see what's happening now, okay? He is literally falling apart under the stress. The United States government is worried about SpaceX, okay? But all the other car industries are wringing their hands, man, because Tesla just got its ass handed. A Tesla Plaid S just got its ass handed to it by two other makers. It lost a race between two other makers. It used to be the fastest guy in the block, but we know what happens, right? Everyone goes, well, fuck it. We're going to be that fast, too. <laughs> I feel for the guy because, you know, if he just stayed in his lane, he would have been okay. His ego wouldn't let him do that. He went after Twitter and now he caught the fucking, you know, he's the dog that caught the fucking mail truck tire and he's flop, 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 flop. I will say... <clears throat> This is my honest opinion, okay? If you're harassing someone's family, he has the right to say fuck you and shut off anything he wants. If he thinks that his family's being endangered by having a group of Twitter uh, people tracking him, he, as far as I'm concerned, he has every right in the fucking world to stop that. But stop it for everybody. If you're gonna be dumping journalists who ask you hard questions, then you dump all journalists. Because I can tell you right now what's going to happen when you dump one journalist, what's going to happen is the next one that comes along is going to ask you the same damn question. And if you don't have answers or you're not willing to answer in a way that's rational, people are going to see you as irrational. So, you know, I believe in family protection. I don't, and that kind of bullshit that was like being stalked by some guy with a fucking camera and a, and a black hoodie like I'm wearing this morning because it's so cold. Uh, yeah, no, that's not right. But he shouldn't ask all of his Twitter followers to go find this guy. That's the police department's job. That's a private investigator's job. You got money, hire fucking PIs. Right? You can't just ban everybody when someone does something you don't like. That is not Twitter. It's not free speech. Now you get a little taste of what free speech and responsibility is, right? Free speech does not mean you are free from the responsibility of your words. So, you know, I, I, I truly, truly, truly want his son and his, his, you know, grind to be safe. There's no reason they should be living in fear. That's fucking bullshit. That is no way to exist. It's terrifying and horrifying, okay? It just shouldn't fucking happen. But Elon needs to understand what he did when he let his ego loose, okay? Climbed up his ass like a gerbil and now he can't get it out. Not having fun. We will see what happens in the weeks and months to come. But now Europe is telling Elon Musk, they are this close to, to, telling, to banning Twitter. They're this fucking close to banning Twitter, just like we are to banning TikTok. And we may see this whole sea change in social media soon. I want to personally warn YouTube. Watch what's going on, you guys. What you did to me where you were going back years. They went back three fucking years on YouTube to give me a strike on a video. I showed everybody those videos, YouTube. I want you to know, I showed it all of the people that saw those videos. I showed that you gave me check marks after I did a video two weeks earlier showing me delete every fucking video on that page, except for three. And you gave me medical strikes, okay? Be fucking careful because you're the next one on the chopping block. Someone is gonna come along and replace you. It doesn't take anything but a bunch of fucking servers 
and a board saying, this is not allowed, this is allowed. If you're going to let AI run your fucking system and take down pages that absolutely should not have been taken down, you're doing exactly what Elon Musk is doing and you see where that's leading, okay? Trust me, you, you are fucking up leaving your creators in the hands of artificial fucking intelligence because it's not as smart as Elon Musk when it comes to emotional content. 